Hi guys, welcome to our uh, fourth tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we are going to uh, go across attacking. So here uh, we have a function attacking and we said if we input get button down, fire one, uh, this is the left uh, click of mouse, uh, we will call uh, we will set up time, we will call uh, any uh, animation attack, we will play the sound, and we will call the bullet uh, bullet function, bullet attack uh, function. Uh, before uh, that I'm going to show you something that uh, I uh, discovered. I, I really don't know how the profi guys uh, do that, but do that, but I found my own way and it's working so it's fine. Uh, with, it's fine for me. Uh, uh, let me show you something in prefabs. Call, uh, before that go to assets and uh, go to create and another folder. If you don't have already, go to another folder uh, and call it prefabs. Like I uh, did, like I done here. If I increase this, you will see something. You will see that our player player is firing bullets, but but in the game they are too small to see, so you cannot see them in the game. On this way, our player is killing his enemies. Uh, now we are going to create uh, our bullet. So go to game object, uh, 3D game object, uh, 3D game object. I think yeah, uh, I think yes. Go to quad. Then name it as bullet, as a bullet, bullet. Then grab this bullet and add to prefabs. Uh, you can delete delete it from the hierarchy now. Then go to the bullet and remove the mesh collider. We don't need the right mesh collider. Go to add component and add box collider. And uh, here attach trigger. Check uh, check here attach it to trigger. Then uh, add component and add rigid body. Uh, freeze those rotations and Z uh, position then go to our folder and scripts and uh, then uh, drag and uh, just a minute uh, then drag and drop this bullet script here on our on, on uh, your bullet so after you done that go to prefab select your bullet and lower your scale on maybe 0 0.001 so uh, this way on this way your bullet will be invisible and select then our player in the script uh, in this uh, you have here you have bullet prefab drag and drop your bullet here so now uh, your player is going to use bullets when uh, he attacking our enemy yeah on the in bullet script you can uh, you see in bullet script we said we don't need this don't need this uh, we said uh, that one bullet hit a tag which hit something which has tag enemy so uh, on your enemy go to tag and tag uh, it, it as enemy if you don't have go uh, create tag and call it enemy so if our bullet hit something uh, which has tag enemy we will send the damage to our enemy and damage value is 1 so if our uh, enemy uh, has health five example uh, we uh, have to hit him uh, five times so
so after that he going to die and we go we also uh, want to destroy the bullet and we want him to destroy after 0 0.5 seconds you can lower this or increase uh, so uh, you cannot kill the uh, enemy from uh, distance so you have to uh, be closer enough to kill your enemy so on that way uh, It's lo it looks like your enemy is fencing with your it it it, it looks like your uh, character our player is fencing is fighting with with our enemy after we uh, finish uh, that we are going to set up now sounds you have uh, in your uh, in your script here on uh, in our on, uh, our player you have this sound array 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 sound uh, you can size I put it three here you can put it five or but three is enough so on this our tutorial on sounds uh, go to jump jump and drag and drop him on element zero then sword on element one uh, health sound uh, you will need the health so sound you will find it on the link below uh, and drag and drop the health sound in the element 2 also if I didn't said it before if I didn't said this before drag and drop your uh, player uh, players health texture uh, after you've done this, this uh, go to select our player and go to add component and add audio source. You will need audio source. Then go to our sounds, drag and drop jump sound. Then you you discheck this, you uncheck this, uncheck this. You wa you don't want to play on awake or looping so just uh, drag and drop jump sound so now if you if you press play you will your character now will be able to move around to jump and so on in next tutorial we are going to set up our coins and our enemies so and this is uh, all for this tutorial uh, don't forget subscribe uh, like uh, visit our group uh, subscribe share with your friends and so on bye